Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Mischief Makers. This is Laharl, and this episode is a bit different because this is going to be not live. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Basically, this is the athletic festival stage, and I have recorded this stage about four times. And in each and every single recording, the game froze. At least in some other sections, so I had to... I had to cut sections out, and it's really hard to do a live commentary and then cut yourself out. I would tell you about each of these events, but I don't have enough time because I have too much stuff to cover, and... I think you guys deserve an explanation as to why this is, and... Basically, I did the recording, and I was just going to do post-commentary, that's what it's called, for just the athletic event, athletic festival, but what ended up happening was I screwed up. I saved. I was editing something else because I was going to add something at the end of this video, but as I was editing it, I accidentally hit save instead of save as, and as a result it saved over the live commentary. So I got rid of my live commentary, and I, I was not happy. <laughs> Needless to say, I had to take a break because I was about to break something. <laughs> Anyways, that's basically what happened, and that's why this is post-commentary. So, I wanted to let you guys know that, and I've recorded this, uh, I had to record this part four times. I got to a section in the game, and I recorded it. Needless, this episode's been a pain, but... It's also the best episode, which is why I'm so mad that I saved over my live commentary. And I know I should be commentating about the game right now, but, you know... So, this is the jumping game where you just jump as far as you can and it adds up both of your scores. And watch this! Check check this out! Watch his score! As the game slate lags there for a second. Watch this. He lands in the exact same spot. He got a 329 on both. I thought that was really weird. Basically, for each and every game that you win here, you get 20 points. And in order to beat the stage, you, uh, you have to, you know, you have to win. <laughs> you don't have to beat every single stage in first, but you just need to get an overall more points than the other. Which is good, because there's a section of this that I had to cut out entirely, because it's broken. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, if you didn't figure it out by now, this is being recorded on an emulator. Which is why that, that one section is broken, and why it froze so many times. But this is the only part that does it that much, I swear. It's... I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I'm apologizing so much. Alright, this is the 100 meter dash, and you just have to dash to the right. And this is actually my fourth recording of this. This is actually the worst of all of my times doing this. In order to get the gold gem on this stage, you have to get a, uh... You have to beat the record of 11 of under 11 seconds, and that is ridiculous, because on each of these dashing parts, the go won't show up every time. It's actually random each time it shows up. And... It's... <laughs> the first time I ever tried this, I screwed up so... I... I, ugh, I... I screwed up a lot, needless to say, so... It may be a while before I get the gold gem for that one. But either way... Um... The 200 and 400 are the same thing, just a bit longer. I start. <laughs> this is a really good way to get yourself carpal tunnel, but I found that the best way to do this isn't to necessarily tap really fast, but to tap the right on the D-pad at a decent speed and at a decent rhythm, and then you'll eventually get it. <coughs> Excuse me. I personally, just so you know, I personally hate post commentary. I hate doing it, it's usually not that great because live is so much better because it's in the moment. But some commentary is better than none, right? So I again want to apologize, this is post commentary because I feel really bad that it has to be that way, but this was my only option at this point. And I really don't mean for this project to sound as irritating as it is because I'm honestly having a lot of fun. This is this is a very fun game to let's play, but unfortunately, <laughs> I've always been really good at making things sound worse than they are, and really it's not that bad, it's just this one episode decided to throw every single possible problem at me. And... Uh, I don't know. 
I just wanted to let you guys know that this is enjoyable, and I really honestly hope that you guys are having as much fun watching this as I am. And I'm not very good at post-commentary, so... I don't know. I gotta quit doubting myself in all this commentary stuff. And then the 400 meter, which, this is the part where my left hand started to hurt. You'll notice that around, um, I think it's around the 250, I start to slow down. Because, uh, when you've done this, like, four times, your hand really starts to pay the ultimate price for it. Yeah, right there, I stop for a second. And then there, and then there, yeah, that's right where my hand started to cramp. <laughs> But yeah, um, if you guys do plan on buying this, the game's really quite cheap on eBay. And I would totally play this on an original N64, but one, I lack a job, and two, my N64 is... Yeah. Go buy it. <laughs> it's an amazing game. Everyone who's ever- everyone that I've ever had play it or seen watch it pl being played says the same thing. Go- go play it. Seriously. And then I won that one too. Won that one by a landslide. And then we're at 100 points. Sweet. And then Marina's little jump with all the black and blue confetti. And then this mini game. I hate this mini game a lot. This this mini game gave me a lot of problems. I mean, you'll see, but. In this game, they would not throw any white friggin' balls, which that's what you have to do, is you have to catch the white balls in the clan pot, and comp and if you hit the catch any red balls, then it goes towards the enemy team, and it's just you on the field. But, for some reason, whenever I'd put- whenever the ball would go through the clan pot, it wouldn't catch it. And there's a there's also the throwing of bombs, which, they don't do anything so far that I know, but, it- I don't like to catch them. But, yeah, you have to catch the white clan balls, and for some reason, the white clan balls, I couldn't catch anything. For some reason. Like, see? Red ball. And see, there, isn't have, there hasn't even been a single red ball th or white ball thrown yet. It's all been red and bomb. Red and bomb. I mean, look at that. Red. Bomb. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I got gypped here for a minute. And, yeah. This is just, this was really just a pain, because there was nothing going on. There were no white balls at all, and it's nearing the 14 second mark. See, look, there's a white ball, and I totally missed it and fly in the air. And I caught a bomb. And see, the, the white ball, like, completely morphed through the, through the clan pot. And that was only the second one. And see, bomb, bomb, one second, and then look, time up. And then white one, and then it throws through the clan's, clan ball. Yeah, I got mad. <laughs> If, when you get a, if you get a, uh, um, if you, uh, tie or get nothing there, then the other team automatically wins, so you have to catch at least one white ball, which is dumb. And then there's one minigame left, which is math fun, but you're about to see a cutout here, so I hate this minigame. This is the one that's actually broken, because the math, the math ones don't display, and here I am stalling so I could tell you that. But yeah, the game's about to cut, and then this is, this is about where it would be live. But this isn't going to be live, because this game... Just, I'm stupid. And there we cut. You beat the stage, and you don't really get a cutscene, you just kinda get nothing. And then I got an A rank on the day of, so thankfully I'll never have to play it again except to get the gold gem. So, we're gonna go ahead and start with the next stage, which is Catastrophe. Or we'll go to the day of first. And then go to Catastrophe, as I sh should be explaining things here. See, I had all this planned in advance, but... Actually, this is where the live was. But I'm dumb, and I saved over it. Way to go. Let me get lackluster commentary from post. I will do my best to replicate some of the things that happen from here on out. So, now it's time to stop talking about being post. Thank you, thank you all. The game is over, and the winning team is... The white team! Yay! Celebrate! Jump up and down! Be happy! Lee. Okay, listen up. There's a wonderful prize for the white team. And the prize is Professor Theo! Professor, come on down! You are the next contestant on the... Prices... Kitten. Yes, the Prices Kitten. What is with that weird-looking cat? 
Professor Theo has been kidnapped by Lunar. What a bummer! Oh, well, I didn't see that coming. I'm Cat Clancer, and I've come to destroy Marina. But I'm too weak. <laughs> Let's settle this with a game of dodgeball. Only Marina and I'll play. Everyone else, move. Well, it seems like I just missed the prof. So if I win, you'll have to take me to him. She's so calm about it. Sure, since Theo is with Lunar. Right. Well, since you two are playing this game of dodgeball, I'll be the judge. Of course you will. Dodgeball rules. 1. Throw the ball and hit the opponent. Rule 2. The left side is Marina's and the right side is Cat Clancer's. Each player must stay on their side. Again, Marina on the left, Cat Clancer on the right. Rule question mark. Fight fair, and if you can avoid being hit by the ball... Oops, time to start. Good luck to you both. Alright, so in this minigame, it's, it's dodgeball. Now... You can play this fairly, and that's how you get the gold gym, is you beat the cat fairly without getting hit, which isn't hard at all. But you know what? Why would you want to do that, when instead you can do this? I'm not even kidding you, you can do that and not get penalized by it. And then you just talk to the cat. Aw, oh, you only won because you cheated. But I'll take you anyway. What a nice cat. I'm talking really loud in the microphone. Yahoo! Yeah, and that's really all there is to that stage. If you skip the cutscene, it's like a 10 second, 5 second stage, unless you play it the normal way. I still got an A rank. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're done with that, and I stall here on the continue screen, we're on to the next major boss in the game! This boss is the hardest to get the gold gem on. Without any doubt, because you have to not get hit, like with the Megan Brothers, it's insane! I hate this boss. I mean, the boss itself is not hard when you know what you're doing, but not getting hit? This boss is the hardest because he has four different forms that you're about to see, and it's just stupid. 